Welcome back everyone to another MLB video and just a couple of hours ago the Diamondbacks traded for Starling Marte center fielder formerly of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now I made a video a few days ago saying that the Mets should make a move for him and the Diamondbacks and Mets one of many teams in for Starling Marte. Now anyways this isn't going to be as much of a breaking news type video it's going to be more of breaking down the fit of Marte with the Diamondbacks because this move did happen a few hours ago. You've probably already seen a breaking news video or two on this trade so anyways just looking at Starling Marte first his stats in 2019 he was fairly healthy for the full season as he played 132 games he did have an IL stint here and there he missed about 30 games in the season but in over 500 at bats he had a 295 batting average 23 homers and 82 RBIs and he's not known as a power guy so maybe with the juice balls it increased his numbers a lot but also 25 stolen bases and that's not even mentioned in his defense as he has won a gold glove he's actually won two gold gloves in his career with the pittsburgh pirates now a lot of people they want they don't really think of him as, anymore as a top player or a star in baseball after he had a ped suspension a few years ago but he has bounced from, back from that nicely he gives you great average he does strike out a lot his strikeout numbers have been high but anyways what they're getting in starling Marte is definitely a very solid player and this diamondbacks team they have been making all kinds of moves this offseason. Of course, Madison Bumgarner is a big splash on him, but then they've added some more underrated guys. They added Cole Calhoun for the outfield. They added some guys in the bullpen. But anyways, just looking at this team, they have a bunch of guys that can play in many positions. Get Eduardo Escobar, one of those guys. Cattell Marte, he can be a top second baseman in the league, or you can put him in the outfield, but then you're getting Starling Marte, who can take the everyday spot at center field. And then David Peralta, he's in interchangeable so they just have a lot of very solid players all around you look at christian walker carson kelly first baseman and catcher duo right there they could be in for breakout season so let me know what you think about this team they do have a solid starting rotation as well with a lot of people with upside so i think adding starling Marte definitely shores up their everyday center field position and then you can keep Cattell Marte at second base you can rotate around eduardo escobar if people needs days off and it just deepens their team even more so the Diamondbacks I don't know if they'll be a threat to the Dodgers because the Dodgers have just been so good and so consistent in the NL West and have a loaded team right now but I do think they can make a push for the wild card they did make a good push late last season so let's see with a full season of this team which should be fun to watch if they can get a first or second NL wild card spot 